Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Thursday afternoon. It's 12.19. I have a doctor follow-up appointment uh, for my thyroid bump that I got a couple times in the last year and a half. So the last time you guys remember was a new doctor. We wanted to get a second opinion. And uh, the new doctor, I don't, I don't recall her aspirating it or anything. But, uh, yeah, okay, so the doctor before that, he aspirated and then I went to California for VidCon. And uh, by the time I got to her appointment, which I think was in July, uh, it had, like, disappeared. And so we said, okay, well, let's uh, do a, an ultrasound in September, October, which we did. And uh, then the results will get to her by now. And... Uh, not that it takes that long. She just said, you know, sometimes it's hard to get an appointment. So get your ultrasound down, which we did, no problems. And uh, so today's the day she tells me what she sees in that ultrasound. I have not had an episode since, uh, or an in, um, I guess the bump has never returned. Every once in a while, I get this really weird ache. It's just like achy. And I'm not sure, probably that's what it is. And, uh, but we'll find out today. Um, then we have to go to the bank. Uh, maybe back in June, July, or August. I think it was July, actually. And I got an email from Google, and they were putting together some ad. And they liked one of my football videos. I think it was one of the ones that we did in um, Buffalo. So they liked me cheering uh, at a football game. So they asked me to use it and I uh, just got my check today for them using that p piece of footage. And uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. And the, the rigmarole though, <laughs> the, the the contracts that they sent and and all that stuff, it was just unbelievable. I almost like fluffed it off saying, you know what? I don't want to do, deal with this because it was just a little bit of a pain in the butt with all the, the signing and back and forth and and then I think they asked for a couple of videos, but they only used one. And uh, so I just got my check on in the mail last night. Totally, I got an email saying that they were sending it, but I thought they were going to direct deposit it into my bank account. And uh, but they didn't. They sent me a check, which is kind of cool. So, and the only way you can deposit an American check into my American Canadian account, yes, Canadians can have an American account because RBC is now in the states as well as in Canada. So. Uh, so they, I guess they're allowed to have American accounts. So when I get paid by Google, AdSense, YouTube, that goes directly into my US business account. And it just sits there until I convert it into Canadian money and then pay for the hydro, the cars, the insurance, all that rigmarole. All right, let's get going. down a new market got to pay for parking and then we're out of here so it's five bucks to pay for parking <laughs> because it's Carol's car I don't know the license plate number off the top of my head so I had to like run out here like three times <laughs> should have just taken a picture of it maybe next time gotta put your ticket on the windshield <laughs> all done all right Let's go check our thyroid. So all is good. Um, there's still the there's still the cyst there. It'll always be there. And what happens is um, every once in a while you might get uh, a, a blood 
like a little vein that's in the in the cyst burst and that's when it fills up and makes the large cyst everything's good i have to come back in a year and about two weeks before i come back uh, i have to get another ultrasound and they're just going to check it one more time uh, in a year so this was a six month wait now we're going to wait another year and if i come back next year and everything's still fine then she'll probably like do another five years from now or whatever or from then so anyway so i got my acquisition for my ultrasound i've got my appointment set for 11 a.m. next December and uh, on the way out there were two uh, military people in there and uh, so I shook their hand and thanked them for serving protecting us all right I forgot to mention it's nine degrees Celsius all you need is a hoodie some pants and some boots and you're good to go so nice to have this apparently tomorrow it's going back down to minus 20 or something so I love it when we get these in the middle of the winter because it just melts away some of the ice, some of the snow, makes room for the next storm as opposed to it just constantly being cold enough so that nothing melts and it's a pain in the ass to remove, so. All right, let's go. It is 1.40 in the afternoon and I thought I would quickly grab something to eat and I'm going to stop in at one of my favorite restaurants in Bradford, Ontario and it is the Barbecue King and I thought I'd try their gyro or gyro, whatever you want to call it. I believe most of the Greek people call it gyro and they have, there's like a little bit of a rrr in it. <laughs> gyro. And uh, I've never, I don't think I've had a gyro, but apparently it's similar to the Donair, uh, except that it's possibly lamb. I think I made the mistake and said uh, goat <laughs> in, in uh, my Donair video. So I think it's lamb, spices, shaved, uh, and then put into a pita and with tzatziki sauce. So let's grab one of those and see how it tastes. And then maybe do a Greek mukbang in the near future. We made it to Barbecue King. Let's go grab ourselves a gyro. I think it only comes one size. I'm gonna grab a water. Again, trying to keep away from pop as much as I can. I don't have my tray in here. <laughs> the guy gave me that many napkins. I forgot to ask. I was like on my cell phone and responding to comments and stuff and uh, forgot to ask him. Uh, but I think it's lamb. I think a lot of people said in uh, the other video that it's lamb. So it's a little pricey. I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure how much the water was, but this and the water was just over $8. And I think that's a bit pricey for, oh, for what it is. I'm not sure what I'd rather have for $8. And I'm, again, I'm not talking quality, I'm talking quantity. So there used to be, you know, there are like places that make amazing pizza and there are places that make eh, okay pizza, but they'll have like the biggest slice. Uh, there used to be a place, and I do like, uh, It was, I guess it was a double win for me. I really like um, Pizzaville Pizza, and uh, there used to be a place on Davis. They've they've they were there forever, and I think the owners just quit. Like they just didn't want to do it anymore. They did it for so long, and uh, they uh, had a thing called the Monster Slice. Like I, when I used to work at Pizza Pizza, the dough they would use to make the pizza for the pizza slices were two large pizza balls, and they doughs, and they put that together, and that would make. The, the pizza slice uh, pizza. So and then when you buy a slice, it's like a lot bigger than if you got a large and they cut it in the same amount of slices, if you get what I'm saying. So it's like an extra large pizza kind of thing. So they would give you 
a quarter of that pizza. So, you know, a pizza this round, they cut it once, cut it twice, and you get a quarter of that pizza. And it was like that and a Coke were like, I don't know, five, six dollars. So it was all about in that situation, luckily, it was quality and quantity. So anyway, enough jibber jabber. Check that out. So we went with tzatziki, tomato, and onion, and uh, the grilled gyro, I guess, or the lamb. So let's give it a bite. Mmm, that's nice. I'll let you know momentarily if I like that again or a pork souvlaki because pork souvlaki these guys make an amazing pork I've been coming to this place for 20 years nope I stand corrected Carol and I got married in 94 we used to I have told you many times drive past here get our souvlakis milkshakes onion rings, french fries, and then continue driving down to the um, drive-in because it was, you know, when you're first married, you don't have a whole lot of money. Plus we had a, a puppy and uh, going to the drive-in was the best solution. So we didn't have to get like somebody to look after a puppy while we're at the movies. We'd just take him with us. JC, John Candy. Mmm. That is nice. I love their pitas too. Mmm. Let me know what you would rate that. The euro is nice and uh, savory, salty. The tzatziki sauce is nice with the onions and the tomatoes. I can't believe I hated tomatoes for a long time in my life. Again, it was a texture thing. And sometimes a flavor thing. Sometimes even if you took the tomatoes off something that had tomatoes on it, I couldn't eat it because of the flavor. Mm. I remember my dad coming home. I don't know if he was out on a Saturday or coming home from work or whatever. And in Markham, along Highway 7, there was a Greek-style restaurant there. My dad went in, and he's like, what the hell is a gyro? <laughs> and the guy says, it's a gyro, and explained what it was. My dad bought it, and he, when he came home, he was, like, raving about this gyro. Starting to drip. Oh, I got some on me. Mm. Yeah, I didn't look at the prices. I just told them I want. Wish it was mixed together a little bit more. Because when you fold it, all the meat came up to the top, and then all your stuff was in the bottom. So I had to like take a little bite, a little bite. That's a good lunch. No pop today. I love the help that a lot of people give me on my videos, but they, they always misunderstand <laughs> what I'm trying to do. So like when I went to the Halifax Donaire and then I went to the restaurant next door, they had, here's, a, here's an inside story that I don't think I talked about. So right beside uh, Halifax Donair is uh, a, what's it called a diner and I went in there because I had to go to the washroom and wash my hands go to the washroom other way around and I felt obligated to buy something from them so I bought that that bottle of coke I didn't you know if I knew it was before I bought it and I knew it was three dollars and something I may have not bought it because that's a crazy amount of money for a bottle of pop and uh, but I was trying to explain 
you know, if you were to go out, you wouldn't, because somebody said, oh, you should buy your pop in bulk and it would be cheaper. Of course it would. That's not the point. <laughs> That's like me saying, you know, if I had planned that I was going to eat out today, I would have brought a, a water from home for sure. And my squirt bottle. I probably wouldn't even use one of those. Anyway. This is like a little mini mukbang. 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 I'm going to try not to say it in my videos. That's all people do is bitch and complain <laughs> about how I say it. And some people are, are so adamant on the correct saying, and then other people attack them saying that they're saying it wrong. <laughs> it's a fun little world. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. There's a guy who loves this place so much, he passed it. And then now it's backing up. Oh, maybe, maybe, yep. He got hungry, realized that he passed the place, and now he's driving in. That's funny. That was a great lunch. Uh, time to go to RBC, cash that check, and uh, then head home. I got a few extra things I got to do for Carl. Uh, Carl comes again tomorrow. And then all the walleye series is done. We did seven episodes. We're all caught up as of tomorrow night. And um, as of Monday, we're starting the crappie series. I know it's a funny word, but that's what it is.